Now that we've finished the main drawing stage, we can turn our attention to painting. But before I do this, I'm going to mask off the bird and the branch. I do use brushes to apply the masking fluid. But these are not totally worn out that they are old brushes or cheap brushes. But you want something that is going to come to a point. Because one of the problems with mask of masking fluid is it can look a little clunky. It needs to have some accuracy if you're um, masking detail. <clears throat> now I'm not going to block the whole of this uh, drawing in, but I am going to start with the finest brush. This is an old number one Galleria. And I'm going to use this. This is really nice fluid. Um, masking fluid <laughs> and I'm going to make sure I get a nice point at the top of the bill um, and be very careful with that with that edge. This bill actually is going to be dark so you know we've got some latitude later on to hide a few of the crimes earlier on. But this uh, bill on this particular bird is black on the upper and lower mandible, which makes it a male. The female is slightly more colourful in that it has black on the top and orange underneath. So you could always make a A more slightly more colourful bird by painting that orange underneath. Okay, the bird is uh, masked, and I'll do a similar outline on the uh, on the bow. While the masking fluid is drying, I'm going to sort out the colours I'm going to use in the background. You can mix what colours you like and feel appropriate in the background to your own paintings, but I would rather like to have a sort of watery feel of reflected greens and blues from the sky and vegetation. So in order to make this wash, I've selected Viridian, Ultramarine, or French Ultramarine, and Burnt Sienna as my basic three colours. And I will mix a wash of each um, in the three wells of my palette. I've also got a dark here that's neutral tint. And I'm going to use that um, if I feel I need to darken any of the colours. But basically it's going to be washes of Viridian, Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. I haven't yet mentioned the paper I'm using. It is a half imperial sheet of Arche or Arches watercolour paper with a knot surface and a, a weight of 140 pounds or 300 GSM. It's the medium surface. And the brush I'll be using to apply the washes is a Raphael uh, Soft Aqua Synthetic Haired Mop Brush. 
and this is a number six. First I'm going to take some uh, water and just wet loosely the, uh, the paper. I don't want to soak it too much but I just want to get a bit of a bit of wet on the surface. Um, I've got my board propped up at the top edge so that there's a little bit of uh, gravity to help the paint bead and to help it soften. So put that on quickly. Okay, just go back to the top again just to allow for the fact that it, the, the colour will dry quicker at the top because it'll drain, it'll drain down. While everything's wet, you can uh, you can keep painting. Uh, you just got to be careful when things start to to dry. Uh, that looks interesting, and it's going to be soft. And I'm just going to let that dry. Once the wash is thoroughly dry, the masking fluid can be removed by firmly rubbing with the tip of your finger. Don't rush this job, it'll take a little while but you need to remove all of the masking fluid. Well that's it for part two. In part three we'll be starting painting the Kingfisher itself. So it's goodbye until then. <laughs>